you want to go into software development then make sure that on the side you work on your software skills hello and welcome everyone if you're new to this channel then my name is uh, amit patel and uh, you are watching musings with software engineer if you're new then uh, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon uh, because on this channel i share ideas insight tools and tactics that can help you grow from where you are in the software industry to an epic level of success so if you're new then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon let us begin i'm selected as production support intern what skills should i learn before joining as intern to perform well and can i change to development team after some time what's your opinion okay see when uh, what happens is that the software companies so i assume that you are in in some kind of a service based company okay because what happens is most service based companies hire like 40 50000 engineers okay every year uh, so like for example tcs will hire 40000 engineers infosys will hire 20000 engineers just today i think today morning i saw cognizant uh, cognizant is going to hire 23000 uh, freshers okay they have already declared that so all these service based companies what they do is they hire a lot of freshers in a lot okay and then they will send people to different different departments some people uh, some they will send to manual testing some people they will send to production support some uh, people they will send to um uh, different all different different areas of development okay because this is also the required part of software development it's not like uh, only programming is a part of software development nowadays there are lot many things within software development which are required to make a software team okay production support is one of them now before joining you will not be able to do anything so don't worry what you need to do okay don't worry about what you need to do if you are already selected as a production support intern then you go there and then you understand exactly what what is the work that you need to do okay as production support sometimes you are just maintaining the systems okay to make sure that the application is running 99.99% of time okay think about this let's say uh, you join a company where you are a production support engineer okay for a company like facebook now facebook servers cannot go down correct so you have to make sure that the servers are always running make sure that all the configurations all the things that are required are happening you are constantly monitoring reports and you are trying to see if there is any problem which is coming up and trying to solve those problem that is what exactly the production support engineer is going to do okay during that period after you join i would suggest that you understand the domain and the business and the application on which you are a production support engineer okay because production support work may take maybe one or two hours rest of the time you spend in understanding the business application look at how this application is working look at how the application has been developed okay look at the features of the application what are the different features of the application what are the business problems that this application is solving okay so you get a domain knowledge of that particular application okay and if you want to go into software development then make sure that on the side you work on your software skills okay because this is just an internship once your internship is over when you go for an actual job what you should do is you should directly apply for a, a software development job for doing that make sure you keep on brushing up your software development skills and mainly the basic the fundamentals of software development uh data structures and algorithm object oriented programming using any of the programming languages you can learn java or c sharp or uh, 
python or javascript php whatever programming language you are interested in one programming language but do it really well okay then what happens is after the internship is over you can directly go for software development okay you can say i am more interested in software development these are my skills of software development i understand production support and i understand this domain i have studied this application but i want to go into software development okay and you have to be firm when you want to go into software development uh, if you are not getting a software development job don't uh, pick up the first job that comes uh, wait a month or two months and try to get into software development more than getting into any other thing if you want to get into software development okay so i hope uh, kartik that helps you at this moment you don't need anything to do in as a production support intern when you go on the job you will learn a lot of things and you are you are going as an intern so you will learn uh, even for freshers you don't need to prepare anything see company may have their own training program for freshers that the fresher will have to do but as as i understand mostly the training program is always basic okay it is not because nobody knows what project you are going to go into okay and the real work only starts after you are given a project after your project starts okay so the real work you will never be able to prepare for any and every project it's not going to be possible so you only prepare for the basics you only prepare Uh, to understand that how you are going to solve problems using code that's it okay i hope karthik that helps you i hope you enjoyed this session if you think you are not getting the right salary or promotions you can get the link to my how to become an a player course in the description thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live